David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. Well, folks, before I get to my story, if you can go to journalistdefensefund.com and make a donation, it would be much appreciated. We endeavored to tell you the other side of the story here at Rebel News, but there are forces afoot that want to prevent us from doing so, sometimes even violently, and for that reason, sometimes on some assignments, we need bodyguards so that harm doesn't occur to our reporters or cameramen. Well, folks, I'm at one of the Indigo stores, this one being at Yorkdale Shopping Mall. And what struck me when I went into Indigo today is um, the theme du jour of Indigo. You see, when you go into a typical Indigo at certain times of the year, depending on what time it is, uh, you'll see a theme of books that greet you right away. So in the beginning of spring, it might be a whole raft of um, gardening books uh, during the Stanley Cup Finals. You might see a whole bunch of hockey books being displayed. But the month of July at the Indigo stores, it seems to be white shame month. I mean, I was astonished, first of all, at how many books have been written and I mean written recently, about um, white supremacy, uh, systemic racism, the Black Lives Matter movement. But when you go into Indigo, you'll get a very vivid reminder the moment you walk into the bookstore. And uh, the piece de la resistance, the skin we're in, a year of black resistance and power, that one is written by Desmond Cole. And it is, don't you know, the Indigo Staff Pick of the Month. Well, of course it's the Indigo Staff Pick of the Month. I mean, Desmond Cole, if anything, is a censor. You know, just a few weeks ago, outside of a Durham Region courthouse, Desmond Cole, the black activist and failed journalist, actually told all the members of the media to turn off their recording devices. He was going to make a speech in the public square, and for whatever reason, he didn't want it recorded. Well, so much for white privilege and white supremacy. All the members of the mainstream media, like a flock of sheep, dutifully obeyed Mr. Cole. And you know, it's kind of funny because um, Heather Reisman is, of course, the founder and CEO of Indigo. When my boss, several years ago, as the publisher of the Western Standard, had the courage to publish those Danish Mohammed cartoons, Heather Reisman had the cowardice not to stock that particular edition of the Western Standard in her store. Wow, what a brave uh, lass she is. And let's not forget who Heather Reisman is. I mean, she is a multi-millionaire who has always grown up in the lap of luxury. Her husband is Jerry Schwartz. He's the CEO of Onyx Corporation. That's a multi-conglomerate with assets worth more than $31 billion US. So it's kind of odd if this Canadian power couple really believes there is racism and white privilege and white supremacy afoot, well, aren't they in a perfect position to do something about it? Namely, why doesn't Heather Reisman simply offer, oh, I don't know, a 50% discount for all visible minorities at her stores? You know, people who are disadvantaged, people who don't make nearly the kind of money uh, Reisman and Schwartz make. Uh, wouldn't that be a great way to encourage reading and help somebody down on their luck? Oh, yeah. We're going to see a discount like that happen sometime soon, aren't we? For some reasons, me thinks that would be bad for the share prices. And uh, I don't think we're going to see that kind of initiative. So, Heather Reisman, yet again, you really talk a mean game. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Yes, folks, here at Rebel News, we endeavor to bring you the other side of the story, but there are people that don't want the other side of the story to be told. Therefore, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. That's journalistdefensefund.com. And if you can, kindly make a donation.